This is another one from the Kamishi Hogatami, upper four corner hole, north south situation. That is a real sneaky one, and it's it's a sleeve choke. It's a sleeve strangle. So I'll have Derek show you here. So. So we're through here like this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my hand across here. Okay. Can you lift up and show everybody? Can everybody see this? Give me a pillow. Give me a nice little pillow of my, my arm, okay? My other hand is going to come back down, and I'm going to catch the sleeve. Okay, now most people do it with their fingers all the way in right there. I like to do it this way. It gives me a little bit more sleeve and a little bit more... Um, distance to come across. Can you, can you just without him in there, can you show how you're grabbing your sleeve? Okay, so a lot of people will do it this way. Their four fingers just slide right in there and they grab the sleeve, okay? And then the hand comes over. I like to stick my thumb in there and then I grab kind of like a modified pistol grip. I've tried playing around with just a regular pistol grip. It always comes out of my hand. But with this one, I can catch that in there and get a good chunk of it and then it gives me all that sleeve to come across and, and choke him with it. So if you're having trouble getting your hand all the way over, use your thumb, grab on, okay? Don't just stick your thumb in there because you'll bend your thumb back, okay? Grab a hold, thumb goes in, grab, okay? All right, so again, I'm gonna shift up just a little tiny bit to get my hand space to come through. I come back and catch, and then you just slide your hand across and flatten out. The idea is to get this part of the sleeve to touch the side of his neck. You can use this as like a, like a guillotine type of, of situation where you're literally like, you know, scissoring his head off and it'll work, but it works a lot quicker if you can get this part on the carotid and then your hand over this way. I always try and get my fingers to touch and what that does is it creates this teeny tiny little hole right there that his neck is in the middle of, okay? See, right there. If I just grab, this is how big the hole is. This is, so then I have to go like that, okay? So if you go like that, you'll actually get a little bit better traction, okay? So again, we're through here, slide across, hand comes down, you grab the inside of your sleeve, okay? As soon as this comes across, I'm gonna pull and jam my arm through so that the sleeve is on his neck, okay? So. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the sleeve is butting right up against the side of his carotid, and then your hand comes down on the other side, okay? Another way of thinking about it, if you can grab your, uh, your wrist, okay, you're gonna have a nice tiny little hole, okay? So again, through here like this, arm comes back, grab the sleeve, slide it across, bring it back down, okay? And if you collapse down on top of it, it makes it even worse. Okay, so one more time through. Okay, good pin, shift, arm comes through, other arm comes down, grab the sleeve, slide it all the way across. Down you go. Okay, questions? At that time you kind of put it inside his knee. Yeah, that time it just kind of caught his knee. So really, we're through here like this. Slide across. I don't want to get it in his gi, I want to get it across his neck. Okay. okay. Make sense? Chris, right. give it a go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we're going to do kind of a, a close-up view of a uh, lapel string, or sode jume, uh, from the north-south north -south position, or kamishi butami. So the key here is that I like to use my thumb in, like that, and then I grab a hold of the gi, okay? A lot of people will put four fingers in there like that and do the same thing, but I find that that kind of gives me a little bit less purchase to get all the way around the neck. So I'll grab there and it gives me a little bit more sleeve to work with, okay? It also allows me to snap this across, so my hands come over as far as they can so that I can get a good grip, and then I pull everything over this way against the neck. So we're through here like this. I'm gonna slide my hand through, and you can see it's way over here, okay? This hand comes down, and now I'm grabbing the inside of the sleeve. I'm gonna get up a little bit, I wouldn't normally do this, and then you can see the angle. This is gonna get all pulled that way, 
boom. And you can see, yeah, Steve, can you cut a cup over here on this side? So as I pull it through, you can see the gi is now in contact with his neck, which is pushing in on his carotid. And it wraps it all the way around as I kind of curve over this way. Okay, and come back on this side. <laughs> it's a 360 kind of move. Okay, so this is made contact, the sleeve is made contact. Now this hand is gonna come over, and you just come through and try and grab your, your forearm if he's got a big neck, or you try to put your fingers together like that if he's got a small neck. Either way, it's a very teeny tiny little choking hole, okay? So I'm through here like this. I'm gonna shift, slide my hand through. The other hand comes down to make connection with the sleeve, okay? Moving it over on top and slamming it across. So when you're doing it correctly, it's very difficult to see what the hell the guy is doing with his hands because he's staying down here like this and not letting you see anything. Because all the work is being done in this corner over there. Okay? And the less you try and make it about like sneaking your hand across his trachea and just slide the, the sleeve up there, you can kind of see that there's a good inch or two in between my hand and his neck when I do this. So a lot of times, you can kind of bring it in this way and then jam it across, or you might have to bring it across his face and then back down. But either way, it gives you a lot of, of room to maneuver. Whereas if I'm doing it this way, you know, I have to kind of slide it back around and across the face, and then we're sitting here kind of fighting super hard for it. So if you need a little bit more purchase, go with the thumb. Otherwise, you can go with the four fingers, okay? And then same finish. Okay, just bring this back down and try and grab your form. Okay?